but I do need to upgrade my PC eventually anyway. Like, I I'm probably going to be doing so sometime relatively soon. I'm kind of hopefully waiting, seeing if there are going to be sales for, uh, for some, for some hardware. Like, what I'm thinking of getting, I really doubt it's going to go on sale, but I'm probably going to get a 9800X3D. Like, actually just go fucking balls out with it, get, like, a really nice CPU. That's what I'm, that's what I'm considering doing. Um, obviously that's going to mean... That's going to mean a full, uh, a full-on upgrade. Not everything in my system, but it's going to mean a, it's going to mean a motherboard upgrade. It's going to mean a RAM upgrade. Um, yeah. I'm going to have to buy a new CPU cooler because I believe the, the socket, like the, the, the mounting layouts have changed as well. So, that's the only reason I haven't done it, like. Every time I look at PC hardware, I'm like, oh my god. Like, I upgraded, like, five years ago, right? Like, it, it's it, it's not like a, I upgrade every year. Um, yeah, I bought... Was it five years ago? Maybe it was only four years ago. It was, like, just before COVID. Um, that was when I, I bought my 3600X. That was also when I killed another CPU because I'm a moron and I bent one of the pins. Um, a lot more expensive of a CPU. I was a 3900X. Um... <laughs> Don't do that. Bad idea. Uh, but, yeah, I, eventually I had to upgrade this system. It's just, you know, even if it is something spread out over, like, four or five years, it's always just a lot of money. And, I'm like, I don't want to spend it. But also, like, it's getting to the point where, like, I want to work with, like, I, I want to work with 4K video. I want to play games with higher settings. I want to be able to render things quicker. It, it, it's just getting to a point where it actually is becoming... It, it's becoming not needed, but, like, it, it, more and more tempting. And I, I'm probably going to upgrade at the end of this month. That's, that's what I'm thinking. I'm going to wait for Black Friday, Cyber Monday. If there are no sales, I'm going to upgrade anyway because, yeah, I, I PoE 2 is coming out. Monster Hunter Wilds is cooked, but I still want to play it. Um, hopefully it's less cooked when the full game came out, uh, comes out. My understanding is the game is quite CPU bound rather than GPU bound. So, yeah, because there's a lot more like NPC stuff. There's a lot more AI for the monsters. There's a lot more monsters on screen that need to be calculated for their AI. So, or not even just on screen, just generally in the world running about doing things. Um, so, yeah, uh, <laughs> it, it, it's just something I've, I've had to do, or not, again, not had to do, just, just meaning to do, meaning to do for a while and putting off, and then I'm going to use that hardware probably to build another system, I don't know if it's going to be a capture machine or it's going to be a fuck around machine, it's gonna be something or it's gonna sit there on my shelf for like five years and i'm never gonna do anything because i do have a gpu up here as well like my my old gpu like i still have the old gpu that used to be in this system right it's just not doing anything right now so probably probably gonna have a new system by the end of the year or mostly new like my my drives are fine my my case fans are fine i upgraded my gpu early earlier this year last year i don't know one of the two um so none of that's gonna change but motherboard cpu ram cooler uh yeah yeah um i need to do like a, a proper look at like, what motherboard and RAM I'm going to buy anyway. Because I know the CPU I'm going to buy, but not sure about the others. Um, I don't know if I'm going to stick with 32 gigs of RAM or go up to 64. 32, like, I don't really need 64. I Like, I'm, I'm not even getting anywhere near close to using 32 anyway. So, like, the oh, well, unless it's cosmic and it has a memory leak, but that's a special exception under normal conditions i'm not getting anywhere uh, anywhere to the point of using 
32 gigs of RAM, so it's probably not... It's probably not worth going and making the full upgrade. How much... You know what? Let's actually find out. How much is... How much is RAM right now? I know I said I'm going to upgrade soon, but I haven't even done, like, proper research for anything. Um... <clears throat> uh, memory, DDR5, uh, can we search by, uh, I thought I could search by capacity, ah, here we go, uh, 232, 416, yeah, that works, and sort by low to high, so 64 gigs of RAM, $260, now, Wait, 50, is 5200 megahertz like a normal, like normal low-end RAM now? 5200 is like low, low. What the fuck? Man, I've really not... Wait, so... Top end you're seeing on 64... I'm guessing this is getting like server stuff, maybe? 6600... 6,600 megahertz. I remember when, like, 3,200 was high. What the fuck? <laughs> All right, um, let's check, uh, let's check 32 gigs. So, is that even, why is that? Why? Why is... Okay. For anyone just listening, the menu is going behind. Okay, so... Like... Okay, whatever. Uh, so there's no six... Wait, so 32 gigs... You can get 32 gigs of 6400 megahertz for $160. I, this is why I love PC hardware and like I, I'm not like I'm not someone who follows PC hardware nowadays like Release to release to release. It's kind of like how I handle my phone, right? So every time I look at new phones, it's like every four or so years So I look at what's available in the market and I'm always just like what the fuck has happened? How is everything so different? Why the fuck is 6400 megahertz? 160 Australian dollars. So if you want to go the... Okay, let's let's just... Okay, if we just get rid of all of that and just say anything. So, 140 for 5200 megahertz. What the fuck? What? I'm having, like, an exis existential crisis. Is that it? I'm having a mental breakdown. I'm having a, I'm having a fucking quarter life crisis. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, let's have a look at drive prices. Actually, like memory prices, I haven't looked at in a long time. Surely drive prices aren't that crazy. Um, remember when one terabyte drives, like one terabyte mechanical hard drives, were like a thousand dollars. A hundred dollars for a Samsung Evo, one terabyte NVMe SSD. Let's go. What four tera eight terabytes? Okay, eight terabytes is. You can get a. Okay, this is this is. This is um quad level storage, which I believe like right runs out like pretty quickly. Nine hundred dollars for eight terabytes. Far out. Fucking hell. Oh, sorry. Eighty-nine dollars for a cheaper one. Fifty-five dollars for five hundred gigabytes. Man. Man! Okay, let's just sort by price lowest. So, the lowest price thing we have here is $45 for 
for a two and a half inch SSD, 500 gigabytes. Jesus. Like, while GPU prices might be crazy, and like they're, they're never gonna come down, at least storage prices are just ridiculously cheap, right? Like, this would be, what, 25 US dollars for 500 gigabytes. Like, just, just think about that in the context of where things were, like, 10 years ago. 25 US dollars for 500 gigabytes. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit.